GX Aviator 2 package is it comes standard with the Dynon flat screen panels. Now, oh, let me show you both of these. The, the top one here is the navigation screen. And as you can see, it replaces all of the standard navigation gauges, uh, plus it, it offers quite a few more. Uh, this one has, you can see we're, we're flying in level flight. Um, it's got airspeed altimeter. It also has outside temperature and then we can scroll through and uh, uh, see some of the navigation screens. Uh, this is fully configurable to uh, work any way that you want it to to show a number of different options of screens. Personally I like to fly with this a full screen just to make sure that uh, uh, I'm seeing as much as I can from the navigation viewpoint. Directly below that is the instrument gauges. Again, this is all flat panel, and I believe that this replaces 13 traditional gauges. Again, this is configurable to a number of different screens that you want it to be. There's the navigation one once again. I like to fly with it this way so I can uh, check my carb heat, outside temperature at a glance, uh, amps and volts. Uh, in addition, we have uh, RPM fuel. It estimates the distance that we can go on this uh, particular tank of fuel. In our case here, it's showing that we can go another 272 miles uh, or fly two hours and 42 minutes. It also shows my, uh, my current burn rate of fuel. Let me show that to you. 5.7, 5.6 gallons per hour right now. And that's about right because we're flying into a small headwind. Uh, so that, that sounds about right. Some of the other equipment that's been included in this package is the Garmin 496. I really like this piece of equipment. Um, it has everything that you need from a navigational viewpoint. Uh, also has XM radio, XM weather. Uh, see, here's those winds I was just telling you about. They're, they're turning to quartering now, but we can check them at different altitudes. There's a 3,000 feet, there's a 6,000 feet. It also pulls in NixRad radar, uh, so we can really have a good heads up for the uh, the weather ahead that's that's lying out there. I highly recommend the XM weather if you're, you're flying very far out of your, your home area. And likewise, uh, the Garmin is, is very nicely uh, packaged so that you can configure it in a number of different ways for the information that you want to have on the screen. Right below that is the COM, uh, which allows us to control both radios or have the uh, co-pilot listen to uh, something different. They could listen to the in-cabin audio while the pilot uh, monitors frequencies. Below that is a navigation radio, um, and below that is a communication radio, and then of course below that is a transponder, uh, which allows us to fly the way this this uh, aircraft is is configured. Is we can fly into uh, any of the Class B B uh, airspace without any problems.